Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Grant. And I'm Lisa Rose, and Ozark's family wants answers about what happened to their son that left him hospitalized. Early Saturday morning, police found 16-year-old Mace Hutchinson underneath the 65 and Highway F overpass in Ozark. KY3 Sarah Sheffield joined us live to explain why the teenager's parents believe what police did put him in intensive care. This is a story that you'll only see here on KY3. Sarah? Lisa, according to the teen's family, they believe that Mace Hutchinson somehow went from walking along this bridge to 30 feet below, lying on the pavement, severely injured. Like I said, we called the police. My wife was afraid he was going to get ran over or hit. Doug Messersmith and his wife were the last known people to see 16-year-old Mace Hutchinson walking shortly before their phone call to 911. He looked a little agitated, but other than that, he didn't look to be falling down drunk or anything like that. By the time officers arrived, the teen was off the overpass, lying on the shoulder below along Highway 65, with no good explanation as to how he got there. According to the doctors, all injuries are consistent with a fall. And Mace's dad, Don Hutchinson, believes it was just that, a fall, not a jump. The question is why. Uh, they tested his system. He was clean of drugs and alcohol, so I mean, we don't know why, unless just being in shock and the whole thing in itself caused him to forget everything. Mace's aunt tells us he's undergoing major surgery for a broken back and a broke off heel. But while he was lying on the ground, she wonders why Ozark police tased him up to 19 times. And I'm not an officer, but I don't see the reason for tasing the somebody that's laying there with a broken back. I don't consider that a threat. His dad says the tasing delayed what would have been immediate surgery by two days. But the tasering had increased his white blood cell count and caused him to have a temperature so they could not go into operation. He refused to comply uh, with the officers and so the officers uh, had to deploy their tasers in order to uh, subdue him. He's making incoherent statements. He's also making uh, statements such as uh, shoot cops, kill cops, uh, things like that. Uh, so uh, there was cause con for concern to the officers. Police say although there are several unanswered questions, the use of a stun gun is not one of them. So it was a very big concern for the officers to keep this guy out of traffic, to keep him from getting hurt. Mace is still in intensive care tonight, listed in fair condition. He has surgery again tomorrow. Uh, the family, along with the Ozark Police Department, is hoping someone will see the story and come forward with some information. You can call 417-699-4789 with information or call the Ozark Police Department. Guys, it's a case we'll be watching. Sarah Sheffield live tonight. Thanks, Sarah. Well, what's in